This is the Management 560 Excel tutorial. So this, I will be doing the same data exercises that we did using PSW in the original lecture series, um, but now uh, doing the same sort of tests in Excel. So um, I have here the restaurants.xls file we used. And so we'll be working through uh, the one sample T, the two, the independent sample T's, both, um, both the pooled variance and the separate variance T with the Levine's test for quality, and then one-way ANOVA as well. First thing we want to do is a one sample T. So I'm going to select my food data. So I want the, the whole column now. Excel, um, Excel treats groups, thinks about groups as columns. So in a one sample t test, we only have one group, so we want to make sure all our data is in one column. In a pooled variance t test, we have two groups. Excel would expect two columns. In ANOVA, we may have more. We'll have more groups, so it will expect a column for each group. Um, I'm looking here at the univariate analysis Excel sheet I posted to this course page. Um, this sheet does Levine's test for quality of variances for two groups, and this sheet does the one sample T. So that's the one we'll be doing now. So I'm going to paste my food data here. And so I've got um, a, my list of food scores, and I want to test whether or not the average of the food scores is has a value of 22. Um, so my t statistic is negative three. Um, it's negative because the mean of 22 is too low. The real mean is something higher than 22. So I get a negative T statistic. This is large enough to be significant at a 5% level. So because this significance is below 5%, I would say that we can reject the null hypothesis that the average food score in our in the population is 22. So that's we can reject that theory with a five with more than a 5% con. If I now want to progress on to doing a two sample, um, in a pooled variance T statistic, I need to go back to my data set here and I want to compare, say, the city with the suburbs. Well, that means I need the city data in one column and the suburbs data in another. So I'm going to copy my city data and create a new sheet and paste it into the new sheet. So there's my city data here and now I want to take my suburbs data and paste it next to it in a separate column. Oops. So here's my city and here's my suburbs. So to do a pooled variance t-test, I need to have the data analysis tool pack installed. So um, I have here I click data analysis, it brings up this dialog box. And I will do the t-test to sample assuming equal variances test. Now, um, I'll pause the video after I do this test and show you how to um, install the data analysis tool pack. But let me just run this uh, test really quick. So this, we're assuming the variances between these two groups are equal, and I'll do my t-test. So I click OK. It's going to ask me what my data is. So I want my variable one range to be A1 to A50. So we'll just draw a box around your data, and then we want B1 
to be B1 to B50. Uh, we think that the city and the suburbs have the same fluid score, so we're going to leave that at zero. Uh, we want to do a 5% significance level, and it's asking us to create it in a worksheet, which is fine. So I click OK. So now I have my um, results here. The means of the two city and suburb are here with their variances and so um, here's the critical test we've got the here's our t-stat negative 0.54 and now this is a, a two-tail test because we weren't sure which whether one was going to be higher than the other so it could have gone either way so we need to have two tails on our test and we get a, this is our here, P, this is the probability of getting that T randomly, is about 59%, much larger than the 5% or smaller to be significant. So we would reject the, the we, could fa we would fail to reject the null hypothesis that the city and the suburbs have the same food score. Um, so the, that was the t-test assuming that the variances were equal. So next I'll show you how to install the data analysis tool pack in case you don't have it and then we'll do a Levine's test for equal variance to see if our assumption of equal variances was justified.